go to jail. Well, I'm Artifacts of Mars. And you may have heard by now, or you may not have, because mainstream, the lamestream news won't cover this, but John Podesta is thought to be a part of a pedophile ring. I mean, they traffic in uh, children and have fun with them in a certain pool. And this is the official WikiLeaks email. It's been verified. It's real. So, but well, most people just read the email and they don't bother going into the specifics, which I think is wrong. I did a little research, and I found some information on this. Well, first, the uh, email. This got everybody in, uh, angered. Uh, on Thursday, October 2015, at 9.26 a.m., Tamara Lozato at tlozatopewtrust.org wrote, with enormous gratitude to Advanced Man and Extraordinary Haber. Advanced Man and Extraordinary Haber. I am popping up again to share our excitement about the reprise of our gang's visit to the farm in Lovettsville. Lovettsville is in Virginia. Northern section, from when I uh, did a search. And I thought I'd share a couple more notes. We plan to heat the pool so that a swim is a possibility. Bonnie will be there. Will be Uber service to transport Ruby, Emerson, and Maeve, Lozado, 11, 9, and almost 7, so you'll have some further entertainment. They will be in, in that pool for sure. With the forecast showing prospects of some sun, in a cooler temp of the lower 60s, I suggest you bring sweaters or whatever attire you will enable us to use our outdoor table with pergo overhead so we can dine in El Fresco and ideally not El Chilo. And truly, I am ceasing truly to repeat the invite and sending planning wishes you can come to Rima, John P., Laura, and Chris. Conamori, that means with love, that's Italian. This is Farmer L. Tamara Lozano, Senior Vice President, Government Relations, the Pew Charitable Trust. So, I'm going to put this on hold a minute. I found out, I did some digging to find out what there was to this. And you're going to be a little bit on the shock side. I can't put this on hold. Okay, before we get to all their information, this is from Drew Lippman at gmail.com to Ruth Marcus, Washington Post. She's one of their left wing uh, people. CCT Lotsado at PewTrust.org, so on and so forth. RE Farmers L update and welcome, Matt. I've never had an affair, so I passed Walter Jones test. Walter Jones is a Republican congressman known for uh, his being a stickler about being a good guy, uh, being moral and all that. And they have a whole ton of uh, names listed here. Here's one that's important. Here's another one that's important. Jay Haber, I think I know who that is. This one, I do know who she is. Bonnie Levin. Remember down in this email, it says that Bonnie will be will be the Uber service to transport Ruby Emerson and Maeve Lozado. 11, 9, and almost 7. Well, I'll show you who Bonnie Levin is in a minute. And 
and let's show who Drew Lippman is. Now here's that Drew Lippman that's mentioned. He's veteran, strategist, and policy analyst, seasoned Washington professional. Mr. Lippman has held top posts in both public and private sectors and has established himself as an expert on a wide variety of fields and industries and so on and so forth. So this is slime that uh, has to do with the Podesta Group. Worked as a principal at the Podesta Group, taught at American University as an adjunct professor of government. So that's just to show you that he's involved with Podesta slime. Now for Bonnie the Uber driver. I didn't make this up. Uh, this was in the email. I found out who she is. Meet new agent Bonnie Levin. She's currently working for, well, this is dated to April 22nd, 2015. She works for Gibson International. She is a real estate broker. Why is this important? Because that is one type of person that would be able to secure a property where these uh, pedophiles could go and have their fun. So that's bon Bonnie Levin. That's a Bonnie, Bonnie the Overdriver. That's final information because it shows this woman is capable of getting them a place to go. And apparently, they go there often. Now, this is a few charitable uh, trust site that this person is involved with. T. Lozano. Just so you see it. Kind of looks like a little left-wing site, which wouldn't surprise me any. Now, here's an article from the New York Times, 20, September 23rd, 2011, 2001. Uh, Tamara Stanton was on the chief of staff to Senator Hillary Rodham Clinton. Go figure. And David J. Leitner was reported appointed to an energy department post in President Bill Clinton's administration. Were married yesterday in New York. Bright's father, the Reverend Norman D. Stanton of Hartsdale, New York, a Presbyterian minister, no doubt a slime, performed the ceremony at Madison Avenue Presbyterian Church. At the time she was married, She was 44. This is important because that's getting right around menopause time when, when women are usually past childbearing age. It gives a bunch of information on her. She was a widow, and I'm going to bring that up. This is vital information that you understand this. Absolutely vital that you understand this. And the reason will become clear as we go along because uh, she doesn't have any children by the names mentioned in the email. This is a big key right here. Now, this is an official Francis A. Lozado diet. Dies. And this is from October 22nd, 1999. Survivors, here's the important part of this. This is Tara, Tamara Lozado's uh, husband that died. And this is why it's important. Survivors include his wife of three years, Tamara Stanton Lozado, and two children from his first marriage. 
That's right. Two children from his first marriage. Benjamin Lozano and Marissa Lozano, all of Washington, and his sister. Now, I've done some research into Tamara Lozano, and near as I can tell, she does not have any children of her own. Neither of these two names I meant is mentioned in that email, by the way. This is an important part. This is the part that you have to understand. We're going to go back to the WikiLeaks email now. Uh, Farmers L. And we're going to... Bonnie will be providing Uber service transport Ruby Emerson and Maeve Lozano. 11, 9, and almost 7. I have not been able to find any source that says she has, has children. Tamara Lozano has children. I've tried. She has those two kids from a previous marriage, but they are not named this. Now here's Tamara Lozano's uh, profile on PewTrust.org. Cameron Lozano leads government relations at the Pew Charitable Trust. She ensures that Pew's wide range of nonpartisan policy work at the state, federal, and international levels is effectively and accurately, accurately communicated to policymakers. Lozano then served, served as then Senator Hillary Rodham, Rotten Clinton's Chief of Staff from 2001 to 2009, prior to service with Senator Clinton, was on the was on the staff of West Virginia Senator John D. Rockefeller for nearly 15 years, serving as Legislative Director and Chief of Staff. Uh... So, there you have it. That's her profile on here. So you can tell she's very involved with all these people and involved with Hillary Clinton. Now go back to that email one more time. So, this Bonnie Levin acted as Uber driver to transport three children, Ruby, Emerson, and Maeve, uh, and they used the last name Lozano to throw people off in case this was read. But don't be fooled by that. She doesn't have any children by those names. Unless she adopted some, but I, uh, there's no record of it that I can find. So these weren't her children that were being taken there. Now why in the living hell would a real estate broker be hired as so-called Uber service to take her children to some farm? No. This is a pedophile ring. And if you vote for Hillary, this is what you're voting for. Now, Advanced Man, enormous gratitude to Advanced Man Extraordinaire Haber. I'm going to show you something on that. This is Jay Haber. They're uh, from California. Jay Haber. Attorney Services, and founded in 1990, and they're involved with this 
process serving all legal documents so get this straight they bring in kids from uh, out of town or whatever maybe from overseas and they bring them to this farm and apparently this dirt bag if this is the right one uh, brings kids in that's uh, that Haber person that she's talking about in the wiki e-link WikiLeaks email. Bonnie will be Uber service to transport Ruby, Emerson, and Maeve Lozano, 11, 9, and almost 7, so you'll have some further entertainment. They will be in that pool for sure. And with a forecast showing prospects of some sun and cooler temp of the lower 60s, I suggest spring sweaters or whatever attire. Will enable us to use our outdoor table for going overhead and dining at Fresco. I see I am seeing Trudy repeat the invite and sending tiny wishes. You could come to Rima, John P., and Lori and Chris. So there you have it. These weren't her kids. And this Bonnie Levin is a real estate broker, which would give her access to properties where they can take kids and do what they want with them. Advanced man extraordinaire Haber is an attorney who apparently is able to get, uh, procure children for these slime balls. This is an international child trafficking and pedophile ring. It gets worse, folks. It gets worse. I got one more to show you. Hang on. Bill Clinton uh, is about to be arrested and hauled into hauled to the clink for. You guessed it, being involved in a pedophile ring. And it turns out that he took at least 26 confirmed flights, flights on Jeffrey Epstein's private jet known as Lolita Express. Sources within the New York Police Department are confirming the NYPD is currently Investigating allegations that Bill Clinton performed sexual acts on underage girls from 5 to 14 years old in recent years. These reports have been confirmed by, mul by multiple others and it appears that NYPD is closing in on former president. According to senior sources within the department, investigators are making plans to bring charges against Clinton and his accomplices after finding new information in Anthony Weiner's emails this weekend. News broke that in May that Clinton relationship with known pedophile Jeffrey Epstein appeared extended much further than pre previously reported. Now sources within the NYPD are saying their investigation has evolved, involved to focus on Clinton ex exclusively, and after several of the emails found on disgraced former Congressman Anthony Weiner's laptop implicate Clinton in an international child sex ring. Do you realize what this means? This whole damn bunch is what they're a bunch of pedophile pedophiles, they're child traffickers. And yes, I'm including Hillary in this. How else can I, what else can I do? Don't sit there and tell me she's innocent. I'm not buying this. She knew all along. You know, John Podesta is her chief of, chief of staff of her campaign for crying out loud. Uh...
Delbong, the Delbong belongs in prison. So, this stuff is snowballing. If you're anything and you can still vote for this dumb witch, I feel sorry for anybody who no has access to this information and you can still vote for this dumb witch. I mean, it's just disgusting, folks. This is evil. These people are evil. They are born evil. They are raised in evil. And they are raised with evil values. Hillary Clinton and her husband are involved in international traffic trafficking of children and other things. There's supposed to be a woman, maybe I'll try to bring that up, who uh, is a good friend of Hillary's and has been convicted. Man. Alright, well here we go. Uh, her name's Laura Silsby. And this is usapoliticstoday.com, not to be confused with the left-wing USA Today. The individual in question is one of Laura Silsby, former director of New Life Children's Refuge, who was caught trying to steal 33 children from the country, being Haiti, most of whom were not even orphans and had families. Hillary has a long history of interest in Ms. Silsby, WikiLeaks, dating back to at least 2001, have been found in her archives discussing Laura's NGO. Laura claimed she planned to build an orphanage in Dominican Republic. Republic, I guess it's Dominican Republic, not Haiti. But uh, authorities in the country said she never submitted an application for this purpose. Alright, they instead located to Haiti, so I was right the first time. The woman the Aberdeen is involved in this. Uh, which means you have radical Islam involved with this. This is, these people, these people should be locked up until the, the solar system itself sun burns out and swallows up the earth. That's how long they should be locked up in prison. That's a little late. Probably not going to sway any voters, but I don't know. If you're a Democrat you, you want to vote for Hillary, you better take a look at this information for yourself. I like doing five, four and five minute videos, but there's so much information on this. Was beyond belief. The former president of the United States, who's involved with a pedophile ring, Hillary Clinton, who knows about it, uh, you have the Podestas, you have this uh, Bonnie Levin person who sets it up, uh, sets up uh, these little trysts for him out in the farmland of Virginia or something. If you're not sickened by this, then you don't have a heart. I'm sorry. Anybody who isn't sickened by this bunch? And this email's been verified, folks. These people are into Satanism. They're into child child porn uh, uh, pedophilia they're into all sorts of shit this is what you want to vote for Donald Trump isn't a perfect person but my god he's an absolute angel compared to this I'm Artifacts of Mars thanks for watching I uh, hope you'll vote for Trump if you can vote for Hillary after 
read through this information for yourself. Look it up. If you can still vote for that witch after reading through this, then you don't have a heart. I'm sorry. I'm Artifacts Mars. I went way long. But some things you just gotta do. Thanks for watching.